Um, the way I was hired for this was that uh, Michael Frith, who's the art director from Muppets, um, came to a little exhibition that I had in the loft that I just moved into. I moved from Detroit with a group of friends to New York. And Michael Frith bought a puppet that I'd made, a uh, string puppet, marionette, very simple one, uh, for Jim, for a Christmas present. And after, just a couple of days after New Year's, I got a phone call from Michael Frith saying, well, Jim is going to be in town. He's working, going to begin a new project, and he would like to interview you and see you know, if you would fit in with this project that he's going to do. And I said, and, you know, come in tomorrow. It has to be tomorrow. And I said, oh, I can't come in tomorrow. I have to pick my mother up from the airport. And uh, Michael Frith said, no, you got somebody else to pick your mother up from the airport. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you've got, Jim, this is the only day Jim's going to be here. You've got to do this. So that I tell people, you know, when, when an opportunity comes, you always got somebody else to pick your mother up. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, now what was I went off subject there a little bit? But oh yeah, I did make yeah. So I came in and I've been there for about a week with just three or four people, and then Brian came in, and that's when we met. So it was right immediately. He was the most shy person any of us had ever met in our lives. He'd never been out of England. He was really, really shy. <laughs> so he'd sit in the corner and draw. And uh, then, he t then when he realized that we weren't going to be mean to him and <laughs> that we liked him, he was hilarious. We had so much fun. We all did. Brian uh, made a fabulous sculpt of a troll, and it, you know the one with the waterfall? Yeah, right? I think it's in oh, the, the trolls that are in The Land of Froud and Once Upon a Time, two of the first two books that Jim saw, were painted by Brian from a sculpt that he made. So he made a troll that we still have that's about this big, sculpted with armature wire and stuff, and, and it's beautiful. It is beautiful. And, I don't know if I can Brian, find it. But it's oh, and, and Brian sent that, or was asked to send that over to us in New York, so we could see that first. And yeah, and um, so we did. So that, yeah, he knows how to sculpt. He could do, he could basically do everything. And yeah, so we worked from that. And that was the that was the way we before he really was involved in the workshop full time. That was the thing that told us what the texture should be like on things, of what the paint range should be like on things. So that was very, very helpful to have it. We still have it. <laughs> one of the, the uh, Brian Froud story that I, I liked, he told me this one himself, I think. Um, the the Skeksis um, finery, their robes, that the costumers um, picked up this, this, be <laughs> this beautiful material and they had built these beautiful robes and um, Brian goes down for, for approval of, of them, and they show them, and they're all laid out, and they're draped over. It's like, okay, can you take them off? And lays them on the ground, and then starts to sort of shred them, and yeah. step on them, and the costumers oh, are freaking oh, out. Oh, they were in tears. They were, and he's like, well, what did you expect? And they're, you know, they're a vile creature. You know, this is, that's what, that's what, it, that's what this is. What did you expect? And they were just, you know, in tears. <laughs> <laughs> because all the fabrics we used were, uh, Silks and velvets, beautiful materials, very expensive, and they they could be. But you know, he would take a cheese grater to things. <laughs> but that, I mean, that, in theater, that is what you would do. And but everybody, no, that was a stressful day. <laughs> if you if you get a chance to go truly into yeah. the museum in Atlanta or the museum in Astoria, the museum of the moving image, yeah. they they have some of these in the, in costume and they are to see in person they are they are beautiful i mean as beautiful as they look on screen they are they're breathtaking i don't know i don't know if anyone's seen mm -hmm. any but they are just stunning 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 um and this is after you know 35 plus years and having to be restored i mean i can only imagine what they look like on the day i mean they're just they're well the skexis i mean you don't really need to <laughs> well, restore that's something that's so destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> but again, they had to do that again. Mm 
Mm -hmm. uh, and because they still use the same beautiful fabrics for the age of resistance. And they still had to age them all down and do the same thing to them. And there were still tears. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes.